going on guys welcome to today's video so today we have a tutorial on the plugin called enhanced playtime so this is a really cool way of getting your players to want to increase the amount of time that they play on your server for so this is a scoreboard like a hologram scoreboard that you can display in the spawn of your server so i think that's really cool because that's just going to be like oh i'm not on the leaderboard so let me play more to increase that so there's a couple of plugins that's required you guys can go ahead and download that in the description below Anyways, let's go ahead and set some settings up and then I'll show you the awesome scoreboard. It's really, really cool. The first thing is you guys can set the max amount of players displayed in the top players playtime list. So for example, the default is 10, but if you only want five players to show up, then you can change that to five with slash playtime top n number of players. You type in whatever number. So I'm gonna go five, 10 is default and hit enter so there we go now it's set to five and really that's pretty much it for the settings uh you guys can go in the config if you want there's really not a whole lot to change but now let's go ahead and create our hologram so you can type the command slash playtime hologram add and then just give it a name so i'm going to call this test and then hit enter so there we go bam here we got this awesome little playtime scoreboard so server unknown server, which you can change in the config, excluded list players, which you can also do, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the date, the top 10 play times, which I made that five, so you can change the text of that in the config as well. So there's also two leaderboards, which is AFK time and then playing time. And then I don't know why it doesn't show myself. I guess I'm excluded. And then we have the little golden apples above. And yeah, so there's not really a lot of players that play the server, obviously but uh, that's still pretty cool. So you can also mess around and move the hologram to a different location, slash playtime, hologram, move here, and then the hologram name. So now we just moved it over here. You can also TP to it with slash playtime, hologram, TP, and then the name. So there we go. And also let's say you forgot the name of a hologram that you have. So you can type slash playtime, hologram, list, hit enter. There we go. So we have one called test. And yeah, so um, I think that's about it for the commands. If you want to remove one, it's pretty simple as well. But I'm not going to. It's slash playtime hologram remove and then the hologram name. 